let's go back to two. So we should be at two now, I can tell. It definitely slowed down a little bit. And now let's go to one. So here is our slowest speed setting again from the overhead camera. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Honeywell HT900. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see the nice retail box in packaging right here, walking us through some of the product features and you can see one side's in Spanish. So it's advertised as being able to feel the power 25 feet away. This has three speed settings, a built-in carrying handle, and the head pivots 90 degrees. It also has a fused plug for additional safety. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have our owner's manual right here, available in multiple languages, walking us through product safety information, a product introduction, how to operate and use the fan. We can also mount certain models to the wall, like our HT900 and the HPF 820 series. They also show you how to clean and store the fan. And if you have any questions, they have their customer service and contact information right here for you. Same information is repeated again in multiple languages, as you can see here. Next, we have the fan itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's the fan up close. You can see at the top right here, we have our three speed settings and our power. Then you can see of our nice long cord around six feet in length. And we have our fuse compartment right here. If you ever need to swap that out, you can see the plug end. Now let's go ahead, let's show you how the fan tips up and pivots to 90 degrees. So check that out right there. We got the Honeywell logo and branding. Everything's made out of black plastic, as you can see. And we have different settings along the way if you don't wanna go straight up to 90 degrees. And I really like that clicking noise so we know when it's locked in to a certain adjustment with those settings. Here it is from the side. This is the right side of it. Here it is from the left side. Now let's look at the back side so you can see it is an integrated power cord right there. And now let's look at it from the bottom. So this can be mounted on a wall. You can see our wall mounting options right here on the base. Looks great. We have more product info for us right there. Very lightweight and compact considering the size of it and really nice. The best feature by far is gonna be the ability to really adjust this. That'll come in handy too, especially if you wanted to mount this to a wall. So now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. So it's plugged in, let's go ahead, let's power it on to our slowest speed setting right here. So you can see the fan spinning. Just a very gentle and soft breeze with our one speed setting right there. So I'd say a little bit further out here, it's more faint, but it is still circulating the air. I can still feel it. Now let's go to two. So I can tell it definitely increased in speed. Very quiet. This is a very quiet fan. Looks really cool to see it in the video too as the blades are spinning. So that's our second speed setting. And now we have our third maximum speed setting right here. Really cool. Definitely started to make a little bit more noise, but man, not very noticeable. Super quiet if you wanted to have a fan like this in the office, maybe underneath your cubicle, your desk, giving you some fresh air blowing up on you. You could definitely do that with this fan, keeping you nice and cool and circulating air throughout your room. Now let's look at it with our overhead camera. So you can see that's the maximum setting right there for three, looks cool. Let's go back to two. So we should be at two now, I can tell it definitely slow down a little bit. And now let's go to one. So here is our slowest speed setting again from the overhead camera. You can see how that looks right there. You might be able to catch a difference in the blade and how it's spinning around. Now let's go ahead, let's get a decibel meter out and see how loud this is. So with just the background noises in my room with the window, AC, computers, monitors, that sort of thing running, we're looking at around 35 to 40 decibels. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn on the fan and we're gonna see how loud it is, if there's even a noticeable increase in any noise with the slowest, lowest number one speed setting. So I say we're looking around 
45 to 50 decibels at the most. Honestly, it's not very noticeable. Now we're gonna do the same thing again with the second speed setting. Same thing, we maxed out again at around 49 decibels. So not really anything else noticeable here in the room with the second speed setting, especially from the first one. And now we'll go to the third setting. So for that one, we got around 58 decibels or so. So it's a little bit louder, but honestly, guys, you really can't even tell, just like the microphone might be picking it up barely right now. It's very, very quiet. It's a super quiet and nice and efficient fan. So let me share through my final thoughts in regards to this fan. Overall, very pleased with it in regards to the price point, as well as the features that we get. It's lightweight, it's made out of plastic, it's very affordable, it's got adjustable speed settings, and we can adjust the tilt up to 90 degrees. So if you're looking for something to move air around your house, office, wherever you need a fan, this is definitely a product you should check out. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.